Hi, and welcome to another Neoteric Designs installation video. Today, we're going to be installing the Neoteric Designs Brent 2 uh, folding charging handle. Uh, this video is way overdue, and I apologize for that. It's just that um, I had to wait for another volunteer uh, carrier to install so I can make this video. So, let's get to it. Uh, the package that you will receive looks like this. Uh, it will include an Allen tool and three slotted pins. You only need two, uh, but I include a third one just in case. And the folding charging handle itself, it comes pre-assembled uh, for for you to get an idea of how it goes together. Um, to get the installation going, I'm gonna use the included Allen tool to remove this Allen head screw. And be careful because there is a spring inside and you don't want to lose that. So I'm going to set the screw aside and the spring aside, base, and the handle. First thing we need to do is remove the CZ stock handle from the carrier itself. Um, you are going to need a small punch to drive these two roll pins out. pins and now the handle is free you can just slide it out you can put that aside now what you're going to do is install the base piece which is this now for orientation uh, let's rotate it this way so the arm sticks out to the left side this is how it goes the base goes on uh, those two holes will line up with those two and this rounded corner and the third hole are towards the back. So the orientation is that the rifle right now is facing that forward and this is the handle that you typically grab on the left side. Okay, so to drive the slotted pins that are included in the package. First you need to tap uh, the pin into the base itself and to do this grab your needle nose and pinch. You're going to keep the slot towards the middle of the needle nose this way so you can squeeze and you want to be pinching and closing uh, the pin itself now we're not going to go all the way through we just need to get it started in one of the base holes now typically you can inst install it without the carrier in it but um, having the carrier arm inside gives this base a little more support so it does not um, collapse on itself. So you just line up the, slot, the slotted uh, pin and make sure it's perpendicular. Now it's a little bit challenging to get 
these pins going at first. So, even though I've done this many times, it's still a challenge. Um, so, don't feel bad if, if it takes you a couple of tries. As you can see, we kind of got that roll pin started. And now you just have to make sure that you drive it in perpendicular to the hole itself. And you'll have to line up the carrier arm holes. Second one going. Same. oversized punch tool and just drive it in. So it's flat. And make sure you run your finger through it to um, to ensure that the roll pins don't stick out above the surface, they're completely flush. If anything, um, see if you can actually drive them down a little bit further, as long as they don't stick out from the other side. You can see they don't stick out. Okay, it's very critical that these roll pins are completely flush with the base. Uh, now that's the difficult part of the installation. Uh, at this point, you will take your handle and slide the base inside align this hole with the screw hole and put your screw in it but not all the way just 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 a tip so the base is lined aligned with so as you can see here There's a tip of the screw right there. We don't want it to stick and actually you can kind of twist it and pull it slightly out. Now at this point, you know, take your spring. Your spring will have two legs, short leg and a long leg. The long leg rides along the side of your carrier the short leg is going to rest right in this portion of the handle so you're going to drop it in make sure your screw doesn't come out okay and you're going to push the spring in if it doesn't go in that means your your 
Allen head screw is in the way. So pull it out. Okay, you're gonna press it in. And as you press this down, you're gonna push your Allen head all the way through. What just happened was the spring is seated and the Allen head went through the spring coil and it's holding it in place. Uh, at this point, I would highly recommend you put a dab of Loctite on the threaded portion of the handle. And once you do that with your Allen tool, go ahead and drive the Allen head screw all the way in. Do not over tighten, just make it nice and snug. Give it a test. Make sure that it doesn't get snagged on anything. As you're doing this, if you feel any friction on the inside, that means that your roll pins are not completely flush with the face of the base. If they are fully flush, you should have a nice and smooth operation. This concludes the installation of the folding charging handle. Thank you for watching.